Hi, welcome back to Green Thumb. My name is Mariah Green and I'm the plant doctor and stylist. And this is the show where I show you how to add the right green to your space. Today, we're gonna dive in a little deeper and take a look at the topic of watering and the proper way to water each and every one of your house plants. Overwatering, it's the number one reason people kill their plants, but I'm not here to judge. Overwatering can really be prevented by sticking to a couple of things stick to your schedule, do the finger test or the soil probe, and just be really aware of how moist your soil is right before you go for the watering can. Some common signs of overwatering are fungus gnats. Now, if we start to see those really annoying floating flies around your plants, that is a telltale sign that you are overwatering. Other common signs that you might be overwatering your plant are brown and mushy leaves or leaves that are just really droopy and just seem to be dropping off left and right with brown spots. Now, if you're starting to see those fungus gnats around your plant and just can't seem to get rid of them, there are a couple things you can try. First, you wanna stop watering at all costs. Reduce your watering schedule by a couple days to a week and allow the plant to dry out. Another thing you can try is adding a little bit of cinnamon to the top of the soil. So if you're experiencing overwatering signs in your plant, there are a couple things you can do to prevent that from continuing to happen. You wanna reduce your watering schedule and make sure you stick to that new schedule. Now, if your plant is in a pot without a drainage hole, this might be a common reason that you're starting to see brown and droopy leaves. Your plant could be experiencing root rot. You'll wanna repot your plant with fresh soil and you'll wanna make sure that you're adding drainage stones to the bottom of the pot. This will prevent root rot and any excess moisture from sitting at the bottom of your pot. Now, watering and misting are two separate things. You can do both for some house plants, but to be clear, watering is for the soil and your plant's roots, whereas misting is for the foliage. Now, a lot of tropical house plants love misting because this replaces all that moisture and humidity that you might not have in your apartment that you might find in the Amazon. Now, when you're misting your house plants, you wanna make sure that you're misting the tops and the bottoms. That way, the entire plant gets the same amount of mist. Common house plants that really enjoy misting are monsteras, pothos, and yes, that fiddle leaf fig. Now, you may be wondering, is there a certain type of water that I should use? Now, depending on the plant, yes. So when it comes to that fiddle leaf fig that you have, you might wanna use distilled water. Now, let's just say you don't have distilled water. You can try this trick if you have a fiddle leaf fig or any other house plant that's kind of picky about its water. You can fill up your watering can the night before watering day and allow it to sit on your counter. That way, any of the impurities can evaporate overnight, and then you can go ahead and water that plant with that fresh water. Sometimes tap water just doesn't cut it for these plants, and you'll often see it in their leaves. And that's okay, so you can use either distilled water or leave your watering can out overnight. Now, based on those general tips, you should have a better idea of whether or not you're over or under watering your plants. Thanks again for watching this episode of Green Thumb, and I hope all of your watering questions were answered today. Remember to subscribe to Well and Good, and if you have any more watering questions, feel free to reach out.